minister who has no time for parliament can have time for schools. So the procedural issue I am raising is whether this parliament must not interest in itself in what is taking place at the Ministry of Education. Semju Nganda is at it again. This round, he attacks President Yoli Kakuta Museven and his wife, Janet Museven, the Minister of Education and Sports. Semju Nganda says that Apparently, Ministry of Education is inaccessible and these junior ministers or the state ministers spend more than months without meeting the senior minister of education. Why? Because they allege that it is because of COVID. Now, COVID ended. And they cannot access the Minister of Education to discuss educational matters. How? Because the Ministry of Education Nangabagamba COVID, COVID yagwao. But again, as in the junior ministers, already our mobile statements are invalid. Why? Because they take long to meet their senior Minister. Ela Honale was a Mujunganda accused Mr. Museven, our president of Uganda, that he owns a school in Nyabushos. Agamatino, in this school, Museven pays 700,000 per child to have education. Nagam, before doing anything, but so keva sanctioning a prison Museven, Luachi, as a solida abana. Sent a new ways to 700,000 per child. Nayate, our UP in the US just 10,000 a year. Agama, this is unfair. This is, not, uh, this is not good at all for the education sector of Uganda. Take a look. Sometimes the whole month. That's why they keep bringing the same statements, just changing their signatures and dates. Because the, the, the one running, the ministry is not accessible, and you said here, COVID. Related to that uh, issue of procedure, Mr. Speaker, the Committee on Education here in the last parliament brought a report here of the president, Yoweru Museven Kaguta, Tibuhaburua, running a school in Kanyareru where he pays 700,000 per child in that school, but he also pays 10000 for a full year for a child in UPE school. So if you want sanctions taken against the exorbitant charge of school fees, even before you go for Muyingo, we start with Mr. Seven, who runs a school where he pays personally 700000 per child in Kanyareru, and then he pays 10000 per child in UPE. Then we can deal with the other. That's why they can't take sanctions, because they are they themselves violating the... MP for Nyabshaw's order? Right Honorable Speaker, this is a house of record. I, Kanyadiru is a sub-county in Nyabshozi constituency, a constituency that, that I proudly represent here. I want to state on record that President Yoel Kaguta Museveni, whom he calls Mr. Museveni, does not have own or have a school where he pays school fees as he states. What exists, however, in Kanyarieru is a primary school and a secondary school like, like they exist in any other sub of the Republic of Uganda. Even in Chira, municipality, where honorable member of parliament standing here to speak, there are primary schools and secondary schools in Chira, where government of the Republic of Uganda, headed by His Excellency Uwe Kaguta Museveni, pays capitation grant and government aid. That is the position as it is. Is he in order, right honorable speaker, to mislead this august house
that the president owns the school and pays school fees. Mr. Chairman, you wanted it add on before I can. Your Chairman, Education Committee. Yeah, thank you, Right Honourable Speaker. I came in the, the Parliament of Uganda, the 10th Parliament, and right from the time we resumed Parliament in 2016, I was on the Committee of Education. In 2018, I was the Vice Chair. I don't remember any moment when the Committee of Education brought a report relating to what Honorable Samuel was saying. Would you bring the evidence in the on the on the website late on table? So, uh, to, uh, yes, uh, so uh, I need your protection right now to speak so that I conclude. Please, uh, it's you on the microphone. Yes, thank you okay. very much. Okay. Thank you very much. So, I, the, the, this Parliament of Uganda is a Parliament that bases itself on evidence. So, I would request through you right now, Speaker, Honorable Semu, Semuju, my best friend to bring evidence of what he's talking about. In my view, what he's telling us is not well substantiated. Thank you. Now, Honorable colleagues, Honorable Minister, I wanted to say something. Mr. Speaker, this morning, the whole top management of the Minister of Education and Sports were together with the Minister of Education We are together with the Minister Please. of Education, regardless of where, at Nakasero. We were together with the team from UNEB, having meetings, looking at the all-level results, which is to be released tomorrow. And before that, I personally had face-to-face -face extensive meeting with the Minister of Education and Sports, who is also the First Lady. We discussed on this matter of the curriculum transition. We discussed on this matter of school fees before I came on this floor of parliament, Mr. Speaker. We must put the records clear. Is my colleague, Honorable Ibrahim, in order really to stand on this floor and to say that the ministers of state in education do not have time to even meet the minister after three weeks, what is he really in order when I've just been with the minister on Thank record before you. coming here? Thank, Thank you. you. Now, on, on our minister, you might find Honorable Semuja has tried to access the first lady and has failed. And therefore, he thinks it's difficult for everyone. Huh? Huh? But anyway, uh, you've given that information to him that you've met. The minister and you've been meeting. I remember when I was in cabinet, the first lady was attending cabinet, and I just wanted to clarify this, that uh, the issue, Honorable Semuju, the way I brought it here, I told the House that the COVID restrictions on around the first lady and the president, by virtue of her being a wife of the president, required that we, co we continue doing COVID tests all the time. Listen, which was not sustainable on our side. So for convenience purposes, I have seen many ministries here where I have never seen a, ministry, a cabinet minister here, but they are moving. So that's why we as presiding officers decided when she sought our guidance, we guided her and said, no, you don't need to be here. When we need you, we shall inform you. Okay? So that's, that's you, you, you ask me, Okay? You, you don't direct. <laughs> okay? Uh, number two, n number two, number two, on the issue raised by Honorable Kashwinji on point of order, you know, when you become specific, when you become very specific, then you find we, as a house, we can demand that indeed you table. So I will request Honorable Semuju, because now Honorable Semuju might be right or he might be wrong. Okay? So I must give him a chance to prove what he has arranged. Uh, Mr. Honorable Speaker, Honorable yeah. I am very happy for you to give me the chance.
You see, I graduated the same day with Honorable Janet Kataha. Even her classrooms were being conducted in the State House as a student. So when I, these things, we, we know what you're talking about. Mr. Speaker, I am going to bring here a report, a report of the Committee of Parliament that was complaining the president ran the school where he pays school fees 700,000. I am going to bring that report. I also bring the answer to the day we debated that report. I don't want to rely, an MP, you shut up and say, I don't remember, and then you are giving evidence. Then how would we trust you? So I want to thank you very much, Mr. Speaker. I am going to bring that report here. Honorable no, no, I, I, I will bring it, Mr. Speaker, maybe Tuesday, because I need to go and retrieve the report and the, and the answer itself. But also, but also, even as I make that pray, if you ordered the technical people here in Parliament to go and bring you that answer, because this might happen here. No, on, 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 uh, I, on, yeah, the Honourable Kanye remembers. Honourable Kanye, please, honor please, honor honor, please, first wait. No, first wait, please, first wait. What, 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 what I'm asking for is not verbal statement. What I'm asking for is what should be tabled here. So when I was saying you, I'm giving you tomorrow. So tomorrow at 2, I'll give you a chance. Because you said it's a report of parliament, it's a answer. That's very clear, please. If you request for it, give it to him to, uh, by even this evening. It's very simple. Mr. Speaker, I have... I don't want to complain, but I have seen you here giving ministers weeks. Don't mind, we, sh we shall help you to even... Can you, Honorable, can you remind me the date I go and bring it now? Honorable, can you please, please? I will just need a report from Honorable Semuju. And then tomorrow, I'll be able to rule, because I couldn't rule when a member can say I can bring the information here. So tomorrow... We, we, we shall work on that. And, we, and our office will cooperate with you in case you need information, any information from the clerk. Okay? So, honorable colleagues, allow me, I guide on this one of school fees. Please. Allow me, I guide on the one of school fees. The one of school fees, uh, we are going to minister. Please appear before the committee and give them the measures you have taken. And you can even seek the guidance of the Attorney General. The measures you have taken against schools, or the measures you can take against schools that have failed to adhere to your guidelines. Okay? And then we shall have to debate that matter. So, the debate today is on uh, 3.1 and other issues to do with the education sector that I had allowed. Let me allow the roller first, followed by Honorable Yarugabari. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I'm, I'm back again to ask about the report on special needs education and also to say that after the PLA results, we are having challenges as members of parliament who represent people with disabilities. We do not know what the government is implementing. Is the government implementing inclusive education to private schools for the purpose of ensuring that they pass and continue with the education. Therefore, I will propose that the Honor Minister brings a report here with all the challenges associated so that we can be able to achieve compulsory education for all. To right on our speaker, as Madisab region, we have a big problem about a Melo Technical Institute. Over 10 years, government has failed to finish the construction of this institute. Right on our speaker and colleagues, I have been to the ministry, I have written several letters. No action has been taken. Can the ministry go to Ajumani and we have stakeholders meeting to resolve on this matter, right on our speaker, immediately? Lastly, right on our speaker, there is. Thank you, Honorable Mr. John. That the two statements be presented and uh, debate ensues. I had hoped that uh, item 3 2 
would be presented as captured on the other paper. And for emphasis, the item is the measures against errant schools that charge exorbitant fees in clear violation of the directives issued by the government. And that is what I'd expected the minister to present here. These directives, we are aware, and they have been issued since 2020, as she has alluded here. The report we wanted was to tell us that the Honorable so-and-so who owns this school charging very exorbitant uh, school fees has been sanctioned as such. That the Honorable Dr. Joyce Moruchu who owns this school and is the minister in the education sector has been sanctioned this way. So Mr. Speaker, I wanted to move that item 3.2 which has not been adequately answered be stood over and the minister be sent back and the debate only concentrates on item 3.1 because what has been presented here is not actually what we required on the other paper. So, you've seen it. I think uh, Semuju Nganda has a varied point. Engage to love education system in Uganda. We tambula. It's not the way how we're supposed to be. Olavanti, that now it is twisting. Olavakati, Avantu, Avana, Ave. Western, Central. So things are changing. But again, Minister or Minister of Education in Songa Zavian Jigiris as quite a dua Bobin Yong Avana, Basoma Bobby and Nakozino. Why? Because I want to know of meeting a Minister of Education, Kataham Seven. Tibatwa Yuro would the Bunji. Chipatwa ito wude kuhunji wali nga wa meti nga president. Havayo buvi nga waluo obanga bagenda fulumi ya bigezo obanga bagenda kundaye kutula monso nga za education batu wala wude kuhunji. Then subi na tino to have uh, kukube ilanga abantu batu sikuwa kwa service delivery nungi wasa no kuba meetings ya zitu ula technical meetings ya ukula banga enso nga zinezibe la zira hizi ingidwa zili kwa atiku wako era nesobola kubera nga zikolwako naye we tunagenda we trust me tewali gonde tewali nsonga zijja kwati wako kubanga uh, minister munange tafunibwa obudde buno so zeze nsonga zo mubaka se mujunganda ina valid point sela omulaba anti buli wafu wasko kuogera abira ne valid point wadenga speaker mugambi akaka search to for bacha yogera kitufu nga sibya mbu Sibia ambu. So, yeyo ensonga ya honarebo. Semuju nganda wa kira municipality wanu mkampala wa wakiso.